Subject is to be contained within a sealed storage tank of heat-resistant alloy with dimensions not less than 14 meters. Under no circumstances should SCP-009 be exposed to temperatures in access of 0 degrees Celsius when not undergoing testing. And no mutane liquids in a solid state, especially frozen water, shall be allowed within 30 meters of the subject's containment area. Subject's chamber is to be fitted with temperature sensors which shall be monitored at all times and is to be kept refrigerated by no fewer than three redundant cooling units. Any malfunction of sensors or cooling systems is to be reported and repaired immediately. If at any time the temperature in the containment area climbs above negative 5 degrees Celsius, the chamber is to be locked down immediately and flooded with coolant until the temperature has been brought back down between negative 30 degrees Celsius and negative 25 degrees Celsius. Atmosphere must be evacuated from the containment area when personnel are present within and any water vapor present must be filtered and kept in the same conditions as detailed herein for no fewer than 24 hours. Any vapor displaying properties of SCP-009 is to be quarantined and added to the containment area as soon as possible. All personnel interacting with or observing the subject must wear full environmental protection suits. All personnel leaving the containment chamber must undergo dehydration of all gear, research materials, and other objects interacting with SCP-009's chamber. If contamination is discovered, no material or personnel shall be permitted to exit, and a level 2 lockdown of the containment area shall commence. Lethal force is authorized in case of dire needed, but all security forces are strongly advised to remain as far away from their targets as possible to minimize the chance of contact with fluids contaminated by SCP-009. SCP-009 is approximately 3,700 liters of substance which exhibits a number of unique properties. While small amounts of the substance in all phrases are as colorless as mutane water, there is a distinct red color that could be sometimes found in it. Its most notable property, however, is the fact that SCP-009's reaction to temperatures extremes is exactly opposite of that standard H2O. The subject assumes a liquid phase at temperatures between negative 100 degrees Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius and converts into a solid state above those temperatures. At temperatures below 100 degrees Celsius, SCP-009 vaporizes into a gaseous phase similar to steam, although it still remains its red coloration when it is put high under pressure. Examinations of the atomic structure of SCP-009 have proved inconclusive. Tests indicate that the subject is composed of the same combination of hydrogen and oxygen as normal water leaving researchers to speculate that the source of the subject's abnormalities may be the atoms themselves. A doctor suggested that the subject may have originated or have been altered by another reality in which laws of physics are inverted. This theory may have some merit in the light of SCP-009's marked ability to copy natural water into its mass. If placed in physical contact with any other solution, be it ice, salt water, or water vapor and air, SCP-009 will spread and contaminate any H2O in said solution, causing it to exhibit the subject's properties. If the subject comes in contact with any biological source of heat, it begins a runaway reaction in which the living organism's body fluids are rapidly converted to SCP-009 and promptly frozen by their own body heat. Experiments on D-class personnel have illustrated the process of conversion by the subject, which has been condensed down into a series of steps. Initial Exposure Subject is exposed to SCP-009, and it begins converting any water present on the exposed surface, usually skin, to exhibit its properties. Presence of mist, fog, snow, or other solid vaporous water is greatly accelerates this process. Surface conversion. A thin layer of frost forms on the exposed area as the body heat and heat produced by SCP-009 
raises its temperature above freezing. Progression to take this step can take anywhere from five minutes to one hour, depending on the victim's body temperature. At this stage, freezing has begun processing through the initial layers of the epidermis and soon reaches live cells. Deep tissue conversion. Exponential increase in temperature of SCP-009 causes expansion of ice crystals throughout the victim's body, resulting in widespread perforation of an internal cell structure. Actual blood loss is minimal at this stage due to the crystals filling the puncture wounds, allowing subjects to remain alive and unconscious for a certain period. Death. Multiple organ failures due to crystallization. Testing on D-class personnel was discontinued.